before fire, before stone blades, before names were spoken in the air, there was her, a lone figure, no taller than your shoulder, trembling as the sun rose over an unforgiving world. Six million years ago, on the razor's edge between ape and human, she walked. This is the story of Ina and the tribe that time tried to erase. They were not kings, not conquerors, not even warriors. They were survivors, fragile, small, and hunted. And yet, within their cautious steps, lay the first sparks of humanity. Every glance, every scar, every trembling breath was a whisper in the great story that would one day become us. But what did it mean to live before human even existed? Six million years ago, the world was changing. Forests that had once stretched endlessly began to thin. The earth tilted, the climate shifted, and grasslands spread like fire across the horizon. Creatures that clung to branches now faced the open plains and predators that ruled them. It was in this crucible of change that the first of our ancestors stood. One fossil found in Chad, Sahelanthropus chadensis, revealed a creature who may have walked upright. Another, Auroran tugenensis in Kenya, showed hints of the same. And somewhere among them lived Ina, her tribe navigating the endless gamble of survival. Imagine being her. Small, fragile, your body shaking from hunger. The dry wind carries the stench of lion. Your ears twitch at the crack of grass behind you. You clutch a fruit, half rotten but precious. Every bite could mean life or poison. You don't know. Only memory and mimicry guide you. Your elders show you the path, how to crouch, how to listen, how to taste the world and not die from it. The nights are worse. Cold seeps into bone. The stars glitter with silent indifference. You huddle in the crook of a tree, clutching the warmth of others. And in those trembling hours, bonds are forged, not in words, but in glances, touches, gestures. It is in silence that the tribe learns what loyalty means. One day the grass trembles. A shadow moves low and fast. Eyes gleam amber, a saber-toothed cat. The tribe scatters in panic. Ina is slow, her foot catches on twisted roots. The predator closes, but an elder steps between them, bony arms raised, shrieking in primal defiance. Stones are hurled, sticks waved. For a moment, chaos overwhelms fear. The cat withdraws, frustrated. And in that moment, Ina learns. Survival is not of the strongest, but of the tribe, of sacrifice of standing together when death stares into your eyes. Ina carried scars, scratches healed, but fear never left. Yet beside her was always the elder, the one who had faced the beast for her. Their bond was not spoken, but lived. When food was scarce, a berry was pressed into her hand. When her mother fell ill, the elder guided her through mourning. It was fragile love in a brutal world, but love nonetheless. And in love, the seed of humanity found root. Seasons turned, droughts came, predators feasted, tribes vanished. Ina's people left no monuments, no cities, no words carved in stone, only scattered bones, fragments buried in dust for millions of years. Her story was forgotten, not by those who lived it, but by time itself. And yet, she did not vanish she became the Earth's memory. Today, when we stand tall, when we walk upright across a city street, we carry Ina's gift. When we form bonds, when we defend one another, when we whisper love in silence, we echo her tribe's fragile unity. We look at fossils and call them primitive. But ask yourself, who was more human? The ones who loved with no words or us who forget what loyalty truly costs. Aina's trembling dawn became our inheritance, and every step we take is hers. Before fire, before stone, before names, there was Ina. She was small, she was fragile, but she survived. And in her survival, we were born. 
If this forgotten story moved you, leave a like, subscribe, and join us as we uncover more of the lost voices of prehistory. For history is not just kings and battles, it is the trembling dawn of those who dared to live.